In this video, I want to give you a quick overview of the ASON Press plugin, a WordPress plugin that you can use to import uh, the products directly from the Amazon Marketplace into your WordPress blog. It's a fantastic plugin. Uh, I mean, I've tried a few of these plugins, and this is the one that I've discovered recently, and it's absolutely fantastic. Uh, it's one of the best that I've tried, no doubt about it. It's very easy to use, it's very easy to learn. And it could provide a loads of benefits. So it's something that you need to have in your in your arsenal of weapons if you are serious uh, about earning money through Amazon, earning money uh, with Amazon as part of your uh, monetization strategy. So this is the main website of the actual plugin. You can click here and you can have a look at the demo. Here you look at the demo uh, of the widgets, of the actual elements that you can use inside your website. This is a quick preview. You can do a comparison table here, the widget side, a product table, a best-selling, product grids, and so on. Down here, you can have a look at the uh, at the prices. We've got two different plans. You've got the annual plan, uh, you got the lifetime. The lifetime is a little bit more convenient, uh, maybe not straight away, but on the long term, is definitely more convenient. And whatever you choose, uh, you know, is everything is going to repay itself within a couple of months in a commission. This is how good this plugin is. So once you buy the plugin and you know you receive the email with the confirmations and all the rest, you can go and insert it straight into your WordPress website by clicking on plugin, add new, and that's it. Here we got the our plugin. This site is in Italian, I'm sorry, but uh, the plugin is in English, so there's no problem for that. You click on it and you go on the main dashboard sections. Okay, this is a one way to use the plugin. There's two actually ways to use the plugin. Let's look at the number one first. Here you got the dashboard with the uh, with the elements that you created and are live at the moment. Okay, this is your comparison table. Okay, all you have to do is click on your comparison table, give it a name, search for product by keyword or by AC number, and then create a table and the set and the game is done. So after you created it, you get given a little short code. Okay, not the shortcut down, copy, and then you go and paste it on your website. So the same you can do with the product tables here, exactly the same way you can create a table. Here you got your API settings that you obviously need in order for the plugin to work properly, and you got some usage guide here. When you can have a look at all the templates that you can use. You can go through all of them, okay? And all you do is just uh, copy this line, if you don't use the ASIN, copy the line below if you don't use the keyword, go and paste it into your website, and just replace the ASIN numbers with the, the one that you can pull from Amazon. So as I said, this is one way to use the uh, product. You can go on the settings sections down here as well. So you can go on to the API settings, you can go on to the licensings, you can go on to the appearance settings, settings where you can select how your buttons and everything else is going to look on your site very easy and very straightforward you can go into other settings as well for for more customizations okay so this is one way to use the plugin the plugin can be used straight into your gutenberg editor or wordpress okay so the gutenberg editor is the one that you access from the add post sections okay so let's go another post then i'll show you so let's have a look at a new post. I'm just going to give it a name, which is call it test post one, I guess. Here we can choose a little bit of Lauren Ibsen, some demo text that you can insert like this. Okay, so say for instance now we want to insert uh, a couple of Amazon products uh, in here, right? So what you do is just press plus. And you select this little button here, ASM Press Block. If it's not available for you because it's the first time and it's not available in these six that are immediately available when you press it, you just search it here. You go through ASM Press and it will appear automatically, okay? So you go and select this. And here you can uh, add the product, which is what we'll do in a second. So let's go through these elements. You get product element, comparison tables, bestseller list, Okay, product elements and comparison tables, once you create a tables and elements in the sections uh, which we talked about a couple of minutes ago, uh, then it will appear 
here, okay? So you can go and select a, a table, okay? This is the one they already done. So when you can create a table on the other sections, it will appear automatically here, so you can insert it straight away. So you can insert the code, they was given to you, or you can select through these sections. The choice is yours. So say for instance, I wanna uh, add a couple of products, okay? Say I just wanna use computers. Now my products are gonna be pulled from the Italian market because this is where I've uh, set it up for. You can select any market you want. You can select multiple markets and track and uh, uh, target different uh, different countries as well. So you get computers. So once you know which one to choose, you just click on them, a little tick will appear. Let's just select these three for instance, just for the sake of these examples. Here you can select the template, grid, box, list, table, widget, or widget small. So let's just select a grid for now. Just save this in draft. Let's have a look how this site is gonna look like. Okay, so this is it. Product has been pulled from Amazon. Not very attractive, but you know, we must select a different template in order to look a little bit more attractive than this one. So let's go here and just change it for box. And let's just have a look how the box template is looking like, okay? So a little bit better. You can see some of the templates that you're using, they've got different properties. Say this one pulls uh, uh, some descriptions from, uh, um, from each product. Not sure if I like this so much, but you know, it's a choice that is available to you. Let's select the list, for example, now and just save it as draft. Let's do the refresh. Okay, well, this is definitely much better. Tider, okay. Seems like it's sort of uh, hiding within the content, really. It doesn't even look like a, a an Amazon link, which is good, which I like. Let's have a look at the table. Save as draft. Okay, this is the table. Even better, I like this very much. This one looks more like an Amazon link, but uh, nevertheless, I really like it. You can use this plugin even in the widget sections, so you can just uh, select widget. Okay, just gonna uh, show you one that I've done. Okay, all you do is to, you, you press uh, you select an HTML module, you drag it down there, and you select the template in the same way that I showed you earlier on. Okay, you change your ASIN number and everything will appear in your website through a widget. So, so easy to use, you know, whichever way you want to use it is really straightforward, it's very easy to learn. So I'm gonna leave you a link uh, uh, under this video. It's an affiliate link, so if you buy through the link, you're gonna make me earn a little commission and I thank you in advance uh, for that. So this is it, this is the end of the video. Thanks for watching it until the end and I will see you in the next one.